is my 2022 Specialized Kinevo SL. I'm gonna run you through it, talk to you about all my favorite parts, and then we're gonna go for a rip. Starting with the frame, we've got an S-Works size S2 Kinevo SL. I'm five foot eight, I like a 435 reach. This bike's 170 millimeters of travel front and rear. Holding it up in the air, we're running a RockShox Zeb 170 up front. This is an ultimate. And we're running a Push 11.6 coil in the rear. This is my second time out on this coil. I absolutely love it so far. Getting it dialed in, and I think it's gonna be a great addition to the bike. In the cockpit, we're running We Are One to package. These are carbon bars and stem that are engineered together. It is absolutely a package that you can feel the difference. I highly recommend it. Uh, feel free to hit me up if you got more questions about that. Um, hanging on to death grips and the race compound fin. We've got a wolf tooth drop, wolf tooth, ooh, dropper post, wolf tooth spacers, specialized, super convenient SWAT stem tool. And I really like this, or steer tube tool. Uh, super convenient. X01 shifter right here. I, wa I was running XX1 AXS stuff, but it broke my derailleur, so X01 will have to do, I know, poor me, right? And slowing all of this down, we're running Magura's MT7 brakes. And of course, none other than MTX Red Race Compound Pads. If you haven't tried MTX brake pads, I highly recommend it. They are ceramic based, super quiet, ultra powerful, great feel. I couldn't be happier with them and I personally will never run anything else. Running a 223 Galfer Wave Rotor up front. 200 Galfer wave rotor in the rear. Rolling down the trail, we are 29er front and rear, running on none other than We Are One carbon wheels. This is the union in the front and the strife in the rear. And the reason I do that is because the strife is their downhill package, union is their enduro uh, package wheel, whatever. And with the added weight of the e-bike, I just like to have a little bit more confidence knowing I can slam that back end around and it's not gonna get dinged up. And protecting those wheels, giving me more sidewall support, and the confidence to push a little bit harder. Of course, I'm rolling on Cush Core front and rear pros. Uh, no XCs for this bike, so check out Cush Core if you've never run them. I highly suggest it, they're a game changer. Take a lot of the rebound out of the tire, help it feel stuck to the trail, all that stuff. So anyhow, you guys, just a quick overview. This is my Kinevo SL. I absolutely love it. This bike rips, super fun. And uh, coming off of a Levo SL, which I still have, it's uh, it's just as playful, it's just as flickable, but you can charge a little bit harder, shred a little bit harder. And with 170 mil of travel front and rear, this is an absolute beast of a machine. 35 Newton meters of torque, 320 watt hour battery. I'm able to go out and in about two hours, I can put you know, eight to 10 miles down and 2,500 to 3,500 feet, still have battery left over. And if I wanna add a range extender into it, I can. And that way we can get a little bit further down the trail when we want to. So if you're interested, you have questions, you want to know more, please reach out to me. I would love to help you out, get you excited about these bikes. The SL is such a sick package and I think you'd really enjoy it. Take care. Thanks a lot. See you next time.